It's Top 5 Tuesday on Sports Card Investor. And today, the five cards that have been hurt the most by the suspension of sports, the coronavirus, and the economic uncertainty. My name is Jeff Wilson. By day, I invest in tech companies. And at night, I invest in sports cards. Join me on my journey to profit from the hobby we all love. Sports Card Investors, and welcome to another episode. It is Top 5 Tuesday, but this is not the type of episode that I want to be doing today. Instead of the Top 5 Cards that are going up, we're looking at the Top 5 Cards that have fallen and fallen and fallen and fallen in price. Because unfortunately, with the pause in the sports schedules, the economic uncertainty right now, we are seeing sports cards dropping. And not every single sports card is dropping. My sport, my top five episode last week, I actually featured some cards that were going up. Some cards are still going up, but the majority of sports cards are dropping. We are seeing a lot of different sports cards come down in price. And today, I'm going to show you five of the cards that have been hit the hardest. Hey! And you're going to be surprised by some of these names today because these are quality players, quality cards, cards that you would never think would be on the downward trend that they are. But that is the reality of today's situation. And maybe, maybe as a sports card investor, there are some buying opportunities in your not so distant future future as a result. We'll see. But for now, let's take a look at the five players. So first of all, I'm going to start in the sport of baseball, and I am going to go to a young player who I was extremely high on entering the season, so much so that I recommended about three weeks ago that my members buy this card. Now, fortunately, after I made that recommendation, the cards went up in value substantially, but then over the last two weeks, they've come down substantially. In fact, this card has come down 38% in the last two weeks. And I am talking about Juan Soto. And specifically, I am talking about Juan Soto's 2018 Tops Update base card, PSA 10. And here is the graph that you see here on the screen. This is the last 90 days that you see on the screen. So overall, the trend line, which is the dotted line on your screen, is still positive. He has still gone up over the last 90 days. But you see the incredible run that he had up in prices getting ready for baseball season and anticipation. So I actually recommended to the members of my membership program on uh, March the 2nd that they start to buy him. So that's right in here. Pretty good timing. Uh, back then, his cards were going for between $70 and $95, and then they went all the way up to $139, $140 two weeks ago. But over the last two weeks, they're down 38%, and that puts his prices as of the last couple days in the range of $87 to $93. This, again, is his 2018 Tops Update Base PSA 10. So it has been a downward trend for Juan Soto to the tune of 38%. Now, I still really, really like Juan Soto as a player. I do think we're going to have a baseball season and maybe a shortened baseball season. I would not be surprised to see his prices run up again as we find out when baseball is resuming. Of course, though, right now, we have no idea when that's going to be. And we have no idea how painful things are going to get economically between today and that point in time. So we can't predict what's going to happen. All we can hope for, and trust me, I hope for this every single day, all we can hope for is that this interruption uh, of sports stays as limited as possible and that we can get back to some form of normalcy uh, as soon as possible and that the damage, the economic damage is not too bad between now and then. It's going to be bad, but hopefully it's not too bad bad. So hopefully when sports resume and and really our world comes back to life, there's a pent up demand of people who want to travel, people who want to go to sporting events, people who are, can't wait to watch sports on TV, and people who once again want to start buying and selling sports cards. That's what we can hope for at this point. 
Let's look at another baseball player who had a lot of anticipation heading into this season, and that is Fernando Tatis in a very similar setup to Soto. Now, Tatis is not as heralded as Soto. He has not done as much, but a lot of people were looking at Tatis as a player who could have a real breakout this year this year and become a real star. His 2019 Tops Baseball PSA 10 base is down 39% in the past two weeks. And here's Tatis's graph on the screen. And you can see, if you go back a few weeks ago, these cards were around $50, just over $50. And they got all the way up two weeks ago to $99, right up around $100. They had about doubled. And now they're back down to about $69, $67, $71. So they're still above where they were a few weeks ago, which same deal as Soto. His cards are still above where he was a few weeks ago, which which I feel good about for for my members who bought that card when I said to buy the card, they're still up in terms of profit on that on those cards, but it's certainly not as up as they once were. And the same with Tatis's graph here, not as up as he once was, you know, either. And we've seen that slide on this card of 39% over the course of the last two weeks. Let's switch over to baseball and or basketball rather, and wow. This one I'm having trouble wrapping my my mind around. I know why it's happening, but to see somebody of the ilk of Giannis have a 44% drop in his most popular rookie card in two weeks, that is what has happened. 44% drop. And let's take a look at that on the screen. And you see uh, his cards were going up and up all season long. It's still a good trend line. Like this is 90 days ago, the graph that you're seeing on the screen. 90 days ago, these cards were right around $650 to $700. And they got all the way up, all the way up to 23, 2400. At one point, they had hit $2,500. So it was an incredible run over the course of the last 90 days, but it has also been a 44% fall in the last two weeks. And these cards have now dipped all the way down to $1,250. So cards that started at $700 went all the way up to $2,500 and have now come down to $1,250. Now, I still like Giannis. One of the cool things about my Market Movers tool, by the way, I got to show this to you. This is a brand new feature I just added to Market Movers. If you're in the market to buy cards for any player, you can now write within Market Movers, click for sale on eBay, and it will load up that exact card on eBay and show you all of the current auctions and buy it nows and what the best prices are for that particular card. So if there is a card that you are looking for, uh, you can go straight from the charts on my Market Movers tool. So you can see exactly what this card's gone for in recent days and you simply click that link and now you're over here and you're seeing that exact card to find yourself some deals on that card. And sometimes you'll notice uh, you'll see something on Market Movers that has gone up and then you'll click over to eBay using that link and you'll find some cards listed that are cheaper than what they just sold for according to the Market Movers data. So you can actually find some pretty good deals that way. That is a cool new feature I just added to my Market Movers data tool. Uh, let's look at another basketball, huge basketball player who uh, has also seen his cards go down 44%. Another guy who has had an amazing run upwards this season and a real great player. Uh, but his cards are back down. And I'm talking about Anthony Davis. And this is Anthony Davis's 2012 Prism Base PSA 10. Uh, still, again, a positive trajectory on the season overall. But considering how high his cards had gotten, $865, $803, $768 for these 2012 Base PSA 10s, now down at $444, $449, $499. So they are down significantly, 44% from where those cards were um, even, uh, even a couple of weeks ago. Now still up over the last 90 days. So again, the trajectory is still positive because that card could have been bought for $325. 90 days ago, but you know, now they're, you know, 449, 499. So still up, but certainly not, you know, not what they were even two weeks ago when they were in the neighborhood of between eight, you know, 800 and, and $865 was the peak that they reached. 
The final guy on this top five, the card that has been hit the hardest over the last two weeks out of every single card I am tracking in my market movers data across all sports is in the sport of basketball once again. It is a player for a team that has championship potential this season, a player who is not as well known of a player, a young player, uh, but a lot of people, uh, including myself at the beginning of the year, thought he had a real chance to uh, cement himself in the starting rotation for one of the LA teams and thought that he could be a big piece of a run this year, playing, uh, playing maybe third fiddle to Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Uh, I'm talking about Landry Shamit. And Landry Shamit was, he actually started the season as a starter. Uh, of course, Paul George was out of early of the season uh, with injury. Um, but Landry Shamit, his cards have been beat up. His Prism Silver PSA 10, which we're going to look at now, it's been volatile all season. But if you look specifically at the last two weeks, it is down 45%. 45% drop in two weeks from a high point of $88 all the way down to a low point of $40 and yesterday, $48. Um, and that is his uh, silver PSA 10 from 2018. Now, Landry Shamit got a double doozy of being hit. You know, first of all, we've had the general pause of sports. Uh, second of all, his, uh, his place in the Clippers has been uncertain in the last couple of months. The Clippers made some moves. They've been playing around with their rotation. And Shamit's uh, time and, and point scored statistics have all gone down. So he's dealing with that. And I guess the third thing he's dealing with is the fact that the Clippers uh, got beat uh, right heading into the NBA pause and all of a sudden maybe looked like they were second or third fiddle perhaps to uh, the LA Lakers and the Milwaukee Bucks. They did not look as um, unbeatable. You know, I think people started, uh, the Lakers beat them right before basketball paused. And I think people started to wonder if the Clippers were actually, uh, you know, really, really that great or if the Lakers were just gonna, you know, take the thing this year for the West. Um, so you've got, you've got, you know, that combo with Shamit, all of those things happening at once and his cards are down 45% in two weeks. That is a big drop, 45% in two weeks, but that is the nature of things these days. So now the question as a sports card investor is, is now the time to buy or are we waiting for these to come down a little bit further? We don't know the answer yet. Um, you know, that's, that's a personal opinion. None of us can predict the market precisely. I personally am waiting another week or two and seeing if we hit a plateau point with some of these cards, but I gotta say, when I see some players on here, like an Anthony Davis, who is down 44%, or a Giannis, who is down the same, that's making me a little bit hungry. That's making me a little bit hungry, because these are, these are some pretty quality players who can be bought at a discount right now. The question is, will they be able to be bought at more of a discount if we wait a few weeks longer? I don't know. But that is what we will be tracking. And as I'm bringing you these videos every few days, that is the type of stuff I will be keeping my eye on for you. So if you have not subscribed yet to my YouTube and my podcast, click the subscribe button right now and the bell icon so you know when new videos are coming out. And if you want more of this type of data, consider subscribing to my membership program because all of my members get this type of data sent to them weekly. And of course, people... Uh, members with access to my Market Movers data tool can go in and get this type of data um, all the time, whenever they want it, 24-7, a very rich way of understanding exactly what is happening in the card market and when might be the time to buy. You can get this information by going to my website, sportscardinvestor.com and clicking on the membership link in the main menu bar. Again, sportscardinvestor.com and click membership. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you and your family are safe and sound. Look forward to seeing you back in a few days with my next episode. Take care.